Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're before the Lord again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray um, as we go into the word of the Lord. Lord, we just thank you for another privilege to come before the throne. Thank you for the worship. Thank you for the Sunday school. Thank you for everything. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We want to be ministered to today, Lord. That you will minister to us in a special way. That you will speak to us today. Your name shall be glorified. And your name shall be adored. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Happy July 4th. Happy Independence. <laughs> I know it was yesterday, but we didn't see yesterday. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Happy July. Happy belated July 4th. Happy Independence Day. Hallelujah. You know, we celebrated 4th of July, which is the day America was free. America was born. Amen. Every nation in the world has what they call their Independence Day. Different dates and a great celebration, a little uh, kind of merriment, everything going on. Independence means freedom. Freedom from control, influence. Influence from control or influence. Independence also is a day that we declare that we are free. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? That we are not under any yoke. But my fear today is that many celebrate independence, but they are not free. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Some look like they had it all together, but it's empty. They are not free. They are banned. When you look very well into their lives, there is nothing but emptiness. There is nothing but bondage. But my prayer today is by the time we finish today's message, whatever bondage, whatever yoke in any life, as you hear us online, the yoke will be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. The yoke will be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. What is a yoke? We said, I'm speaking to us today on the topic freedom from yoke. What is a yoke? Yoke is a device they used to join two animals together mm -hmm. to make them to level. Mm -hmm. And the two are tied together whether they like it or not. Amen? Mm -hmm. The other cannot say, I want to go this way or that way. Usually, one of them is stronger than the other. So they are not free to do what they want to do. That's a yoke. A yoke symbolizes instrument of oppression used to limit a person's growth, promotion, fulfillment, breakthrough in life. That's what a, a, a yoke is. Actually, in Hebrew, they call yoke is a mortar or a star. These words figuratively signify severe bondage or affliction or subjection. Amen? But the Lord like I said, will set us free today in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn with me to the book of John, chapter 8. John, chapter 8, from verses 30 to 47. And as he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to the Jews, which believed on him. Now listen to me. Then said Jesus to those Jews, which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye must be free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. That's what I'm telling you. Many celebrated 
uh, uh, independent. I am free. I am born free. I can do whatever I want to do. But the Bible says they're still committing sin. Mm -hmm. The Bible says if you're a servant, you are a servant of sin. Yes. You are not free. You are in bondage. There's a yoke in your life. Amen. Jesus answered, and the servant abideth not in the house. Amen. The servant does not abide in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If therefore the son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Amen. Amen. If the son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. We realize from this scripture, the only true source of freedom is Amen. through the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. 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 I know that you are Abraham's seed. <laughs> Amen. But you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. Many say they are free today. The word of God has no place in them. <laughs> I speak that which I have seen with my father. And ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if you are Abraham's children, you will do the works of Abraham. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in our Sunday school, we were talking about uh, be ye the doers of the word. You know, many say, I am a Christian, but their lifestyle, everything about them has nothing to do with Christianity. Uh, like our Sunday school teacher said, they come to church, they dress well, they look good, they know all the appropriate what to say. But when you see them on Monday, when they get to their workplaces, you, you will think, have they ever been to any church? Mm -hmm. They're the first to curse. They're the first to lust. They're the first to do all sorts of evil. That's a bondage. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a bondage. And Jesus is trying to make them. Your, your name, I'm Abraham, my father, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. That, that's not it. It's your life. Are you really a Christian? That's what the Bible is saying. Amen. Amen. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said unto him, we be not born of fornication. We're not bastards. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, look at the drama. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto them, If God by your father, you will love me. For I proceeded forth out of my father and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what God is telling them. Mm -hmm. You know, I love God. And we're great. I love people, but then you hate them. How do you, the Bible says, how can you say you love God whom you have not seen? When you hate your brother, when you hate your fellow man, how on earth can you say, I love God? Hallelujah. Amen. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father, the devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the loss of your father, he will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convince me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe? When we preach the truth, when the truth is preached to you, when you read about the truth, why do you not believe he that is of God, he heareth God's voice. Mm. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. I divide the message into three. Number one, the realities of yoke. The realities of yoke. Number two, the reasons for yokes. The reasons for yoke. The reason for yokes. And number three, the release from yoke. Hallelujah. The release from yoke. Number one, the reality of yokes. Number two, the reason for yoke. And number three, the release from yoke. I am praying by the end of this message today that somebody 
hearing at the voice of my voice. Somebody hearing us online will be free and free indeed in Jesus' name. Amen. The reality of yours. Just like we have said, many people celebrate, we just celebrated Independence Day. We are free to so many scenes, so many shows, fireworks to, to celebrate, to commemorate, but we are in bondage. After all the festivity, you still go home to drink. After all the festivity, you still go home to do drugs. After all the festivity, you still go home and lie. After all the festivity, you still go and sleep with another man, with another woman. You are still in bondage. Hallelujah. Amen. Yours comes in different form. Sometimes you are banned, but you don't even know it. And that's what's happening. Many are banned today, they think they are free. But I pray the law will help us in Jesus' name. You know, when you are a Christian, you will know. You will know. You will know areas of your life that that yoke need to be broken. Amen? Amen. Now that we know what is a yoke, you know? Yoke, we already said the reality. Anything that's oppressive, what's oppressing in your life? It could be area of your finances. It could be area of relationship. You don't just seem to get along with people. Or you don't get along with people, or they don't get along with you. It could be marital yokes. Finances, yokes. You cannot gather money. It's like as you gather, some wind kind of blow it away. You do the same job that everybody do. You walk the same hour everybody walk, but you have nothing to show. That's a yoke. Amen? A yoke can be in your mind. It's a stronghold. Devil is a master of deception. The thought and idea to limit you, to oppress you, to chain you down. That's a, a reality of a yoke. And we see it all around us. We see it all around us. It's on the news. That's what happened. Because of yoke, you see many suicide on the news. The, the, the Hollywood, they kill themselves. They have money. Money cannot buy you peace. Amen. They have everything, but Amen. still, they commit suicide. Mm -hmm. Still, they are depressed. They are unpeel. Why? Because they are not free. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Limitation. Enemy set limitation. No matter how you walk. You know, I was telling us in the prayer meeting this week. It's um, what they call, one day I wanted to plant a palm tree in my house. And I went, you know, palm tree usually grow tall. But when I went to the market, they told me this particular, I don't want the tall one. They said this particular palm is, is a... Uh, Dwarf. Um, dwarf. It's a dwarf. Amen? Meaning, no matter what I do, it cannot grow to certain amounts. It will always be short. Have you seen those people, dwarf, the midgets, mm -hmm. what they call them? Mm -hmm. They eat the same food you eat. They mm -hmm. drink the same drink yeah. you drink. They eat hamburger, eat steak, mm -hmm. but they never grow. That's what enemy do. In areas of your life, yeah, you are growing, you are working, you are doing everything, but you are banned. You are limited. Mm. Amen? Amen? But the Lord will break those limitations yeah. today in Jesus' name. Yeah. It will be familiar trend. You know, you see the traits. You know, just like we have physical traits. Our children, oh, oh she look like dad, she look like mom. There are some unhidden traces, hidden bondages that carry along. It's mm. called familiar trend. They call it generational causes. Whatever it is, the Lord will break all the yokes in Jesus' name. Amen. But we have talked about yoke. We want to know what causes yoke. I think that's my big area this morning. The reason for yoke. You know, in my profession, I'm a nurse, and we use this a term they call seeds. Seeds stand for S. Seeds, S I D S. It stands for sudden infant death syndrome. You just had a baby. Baby was normal, safe delivery, everything was fine. And you find the baby dead in the crib. In other words, their joy was turned to sorrow. There was no, they couldn't, still now, they don't know, they just call it sudden infant death syndrome. They don't know the reason, they don't know what 
concerts, a lot of things, it just happened. That's how enemy kept some of us. As soon as you are about to happen, you are fair, happy, 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 enemy come to dash it. It's like all hope is gone. But today, the Lord will reverse, mm -hmm. cut off the hand of the enemy in Jesus' name. And I'm using that seed, acronym seed, S I D S. Number one, the number one reasons for yoke is singing. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Number one reason for yoke is singing. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In the book of Lamentation, chapter 1, verse 10. The book of Lamentation, chapter 1, verse 10. The Bible said the adversary had spread out his hand upon all a pleasant thing. For she had seen that the heathen enter into sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. That is compromising. When you compromise your life, when you're living a life of sin, there's no grace there. A life of sin produces disgrace. Mm -hmm. It produces affliction. It produces affliction. Lamentation chapter 4 from verse 12. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world will not have believed that the adversary and the enemy shall have entered into the gate of Jerusalem. You know many people, ah, we don't know why this is happening to Christian. Ah, how is a Christian? But we only see the facade. We only see what's going on outside. We don't know what is going on inside. The Lord knows what is going on inside. Yeah. He said the adversary, even the unbeliever were worried. Why is this? so much problem hallelujah the bible said they will not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gate of jerusalem for the sins of our prophet and the iniquity of our priest that have shed the blood of the unjust let me read it to you in new living i mean easy to read the king of the earth could not believe what had happened the people of the world could not believe what had happened. They could not believe the enemy would be able to come through the city gate of Jerusalem. This happened because the prophet of Jerusalem sinned. Amen? Mm -hmm. Sin opened the door for enemy to come in. Amen? Amen? Mm -hmm. When you say you're a Christian, I have given my life to the Lord. But well, it doesn't end there. You need to begin to read the word. You need to begin to study the word. You need to begin to live according to the word of God. Our walk, our talk must match our walk. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. We must not say something and do something else. This happened because the priests had seen. They have did, they've done evil in the sight of the Lord. It opened the door for wrath of God, mm -hmm. for enemy. Sin always creates a loophole for the devil to operate in any life. Amen? Amen. 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 Another word for S there is spell. Spell is another word for curse. Amen? You know, I'm sure you know about curse. When people say, that's why we talked to you the other day, watch what you say. Because the Bible says in that book of Deuteronomy, as you have said in my ears, so will I do. Watch what you say to yourself. Watch what you say to your children. If you call them stupid and they begin to act stupid, you've cast it. Amen? If you begin to say to yourself, I don't think I will ever make it. When you don't make it, you've been saying that to yourself. Curse. We don't want any curse in any life. You know, some people misbehave. Somebody place a curse on them. Father placed a curse on their children. Mother placed a curse on their children. Every curse, every yoke that enemy has placed on any life, today that yoke, that curse will be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Example of that spell is found in the, in the book of Genesis 27, 40. You remember when, when uh, Jacob, uh, he stole his brother Isaac blessing. And Isaac said, is there another blessing for me? Look at the blessing. This is not a blessing. Genesis 27, verse 40. And by thy sword thou sh shalt thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. We hear of Israel today. We never had Elamites, Elamites. Amen? Amen? Whatever cause. 
God we deliver in Jesus name Amen. another reason for youth is that letter I ignorance Amen, Amen. what did I say Amen. ignorance Amen. turn with me to the book of Hosea chapter 4 we're reading from verse 6 Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Many Christians are on that yoke, like I told you. They don't even know it, you know? Some be, and it's due to ignorance. Some are afraid. They are afraid of the witches. They are afraid of the wizard. They are afraid of this. They don't know what they have in the law. Why are you afraid? It's the enemy who must afraid when they see you. It's not me who will be afraid of the devil. No, I will not be under any man's or any woman's yoke. Jesus has set me free. Hallelujah. And my life, my all, everything I lay at the altar, all for the glory of God. Amen. 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 Because due to some background, they are so afraid. Fear had crippled their lives. That's a yoke. Fear is a yoke. It's crippled their life. And it's because of ignorance. In our devotion, in my devotion this week, I read a story of a woman. She was blind for 15 years. The first time she became blind, she couldn't see. They went to the doctor. One doctor told her, your detached retina could not be repaired. And so the lady learned, have a service dog, learn to walk with care and run to read, you know, just like the blind people for 15 years. At 15 years, I think the husband came across another doctor and asked a simple question and say, is there any hope? Is there any help for my wife? And the doctor look at the wife and say, yes, it's just a simple problem. It's a cataract. Mm -hmm. And they removed the cataract and the woman had 20-20 vision. Wow. For 15 years, they call her blind. <laughs> Whatever name they have wow. called you, today the Lord will change that name in Thank Jesus' you, name. Amen. For 15 years, she walked with Cain. For 15 years, she acted like a blind person until that day. Amen. Today is your day. Amen. Hallelujah. Today Amen. is your day. Amen. There was a story during the Emancipation Proclamation in West Indies. Everybody know all the slaves are free. But there were some slaves in the remote part of the West Indies. Their slave master did not let them know they were free. They were still serving as a slave for months. Many Christians are still acting as slaves. They say, I've given my life to the Lord, but they're still behaving like a slave. Mm -hmm. They're still slave to sin, slave to self, slave to the devil. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Ignorance, ignorance. Ignorance is a disease. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected. Remember, back to the word of God. Jesus was telling them they will not obey the word. They will not listen to the word of God. They rejected the truth. They know it's the truth, but they don't want it. God said, because they have rejected. They're ignorant. Amen? Amen. So they're in darkness. Hallelujah. That's I. The letter they are D. Another reason. Number one reason for disobedience is what? Sin. Number two, ignorance. Number three, D is disobedience. Isaiah 42. Turn to the book of Isaiah chapter 42. We're reading from verses 22 through 25. I, I love this verse. Isaiah 42 from verse 22 to 25. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. <laughs> you go to church, but they are robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snare in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and not deliver, for a spoil and not say it, restore. They are in yoke, they are spoiled, but nobody can deliver them. Restore, who among you, verse 23, who among you will give ear to this? Who will act in and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robber? Did not the Lord 
him against whom we have sinned, against sin. Therefore, he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and it hath set fire round about him. Yet he knew it not, and it burnt him, yet he laid it not to heart. That's disobedience. You hear the word of God? I can preach so I don't believe. You've heard on the radio, you've heard everywhere, you hear the word. Your conscience is telling you, Holy Spirit is nudging your heart. But you won't. You say, I don't care. Disobedience, it brings yoke in our lives. Hallelujah. Number, the, the, the latter S there is Satan stronghold. Amen? Amen. Satan. You know, the Bible says in the book of John 10, 10, the thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I have come that thou might have life, Amen. and that you might have it Amen. more abundantly. Yes. Jesus has come to give us abundant life. He has not come to put us in bondage. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The Bible says for the weapons of our we for the uh, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. But they are mighty through God to the pulling down of the stronghold mm -hmm. of the devil. Hallelujah. Whatever that stronghold, the Lord, it will be pulled down today in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. You know, we have talked about this yoke. And you know what causes yoke now? What happens when you are yoke? I have told you, you are limited. Mm -hmm. You can only go to where your yoke go. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Some people say, I can't help it. Yes, you can. But when you are yoked with the devil, surely you can't help it. Mm -hmm. Until you come to the one who can release you. And that leads me to this final um, point, the release from yokes. Jesus is the master of yoke breaker. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. That's the purpose. That's the mission why he came. He had come to set the captives free. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 4. From verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Matthew 11, verse 28. The Bible says, Come unto me. You have to come to Jesus. You want to be free? The only answer. The only true source of independence is Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Remember, number one, cause of yoke is sin. Mm -hmm. Come in repentance. Come to surrender your life and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I've been disobedient to your will. I've been disobedient to your way. I now come to give my life to you. I now come to give my all to you. I am sorry of my sin. I pray that you forgive me. I, will, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. The Bible says as many that receive them. It give them power to become the sons of God. Amen. It will give you power to become his and power over the enemy. Over that yoke that yoke you. God will give you power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come unto me, all ye that labor. Are you labor on that yoke of the devil? And I will give you rest. God has a yoke. The yoke of God is different from the devil. Hallelujah. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. I am gentle and lonely in heart. And you will find rest for your soul. My yoke is easy mm -hmm. and my body is light. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 6.16 6, says, Do you not know? That to whom you present yourself to obey, you are the slave of that person, of that thing. If you present yourself to the devil, you are a slave of the devil. But if you present yourself to God, you become a child of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You want to be, you want to make your life to be the only way, the only way, the only way is to be in union with the Lord Jesus Christ. There was a story of uh, General William Booth. You know, General William Booth is the founder of Salvation Army. 
it was given a speech at uh, Webster, Webster Abbey, uh, Frontenac Hall in Boston. And on the wall, there was uh, uh, a, 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 the Union, there was Union and Liberty back of the platform of the front hall. There was a inscription say, Union and Liberty, one inseparable, now and forever. When Booth was giving his speech, he turned in a dramatic situation. He turned to the painting and cried, Union and Liberty, Union with Christ, and liberty from sin, one in and inseparable now and forever. Union with Christ, union with Christ, union with Jesus, and liberty from sin, freedom from sin, freedom from ignorance, freedom from disobedience, freedom from Satan, one and inseparable now and forever. The one said, God against sin. Standrum is union with the living Christ. There is no spirit, no spiritual liberty apart from this union. This is fine in teachers' calling. Amen? Amen. May our life, may we truly be united with Him. Hallelujah. Amen. May we truly be united Amen. with Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to be released, but that's where it begins. Giving our life. I want to use another acronym, FAT. We come to him by faith. F there stands for faith. We come by faith and say, Lord, I come to you. The Bible says he that cometh to God. After all, you've tried. You're still in bondage. You've tried everything. You try drug, it's not helping. You try crack, it's not helping. You try alcohol, it's not helping. Sex is not helping either. Everything you try is not helping. You try bribery, it's not helping. You cannot bribe the devil. You cannot beg the devil. He has no mercy. But you can come to God of mercy. You can come to Jesus. Come unto me. That's the voice. You know why I'm stressing this? Many people say, I went to a, 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 a conference. And the uh, line will be long for deliverance. This person won deliverance, that person won deliverance. After a time, I said, ah, last year, we prayed for her. This year, we are praying the same prayer. I said, I, I don't think, I think, you know, we're buying the spirit of life. I said, they just need to be born again. They, just, they, are, they need to give their life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are going over the symptoms. And it's the spirit of anger. It's the spirit of this. What spirit? If therefore the Son shall set you free. Ah. Mm -hmm. You are free indeed. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says sin shall have no dominion over you. If sin is having dominion, that means there's a yoke somewhere. And you need to come back to the cross. To the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Don't get me wrong, I believe in deliverance. But if you keep coming over and over and over, something is wrong. You need to be born again. You need to give your life to him. And he needs to know. You need to know. The Lord ever needs to know too. Amen? Because people might think you are Christian. They might see you everything you do superficially. Only him knows you. So surrender your life unto him. Come to him by faith. Hebrew 11 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith is the activator of the power of God. Mm. Look at that woman with the issue of blood. For 12 years, she's yoked. She was yoked with that disease. 12 years, and when you are bleeding, you can she in their culture, you cannot go around with where people are because you'll be smelling. But she said, My only hope, I've tried all the physicians. I've gone to all the abalists in town. Nobody can help me. After I've wasted all my money, I am going to Jesus. I know I would I just want to touch the head of his garment. And if I can only touch the hem of his garment. I shall be made whole Amen. by faith. And she was made whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First Peter said, Be sober, be vigilant. 
because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion seeking whom may devour. Whom you resist steadfast in faith. It is by faith you resist the devil. It is by faith you get up and say, This yoke must be broken. I cannot live like this. I will not allow the devil to molest me. I will not allow the devil to mess me around. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me give you a story. When Every time, I think I told you a few weeks ago, every time I want to do something big, enemy will show up. I told you when I was coming to America, uh, I will have died, but, but for God's grace. When I was in nursing school, at the time we were about to finish nursing, everybody had to, then they told us to write our paper, and we wrote the paper, and the paper was good. And then they took my only paper and said, something plagiarism or something they call my husband they said they want me to come and they say i will not graduate that was our only hope if i don't graduate after four years they say i will not graduate it was i knew enemy had come again and i was seven months pregnant so I told my husband, thank God for a godly man. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for it. I said fast. He said, well, I said, you need to, I, I can't fast, but you need to fast. Everybody I have around me, I give them fasting. <laughs> I said fast and pray. I must finish this school. Anyway, long story short, they, they send a letter and they say, I must come to the school to write the paper over again in their presence. And I went to school and I wrote, I wrote the paper. But before I went to school, remember my husband was fasting, we were praying, I was praying, I went to, it was a lady who came out of nowhere who brought this whole thing up. First of all, they reject all our paper, now they single mine out. You know, that's how enemy works. Mm -hmm. That's how enemy works. But let me tell you, God is good. Mm -hmm. The yoke must be broken. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You started this school with me, I must finish. I must have my license. And the morning I was going to school to go right, after I praying, I was praying, my husband was praying, everybody around me was praying, I was telling my little boy Joshua, and I pray, everybody was praying. And, and, and I, I woke up that morning. And it was like the host of heaven was in our house. I can hear them singing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. It was Easter song, but it wasn't Easter time. That strife is over, that bar to one, that victory of life is won. That song of try your sight. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was so, I jump up, I said, God had answered prayer. I told my husband, Can't you hear the horse of heaven? Can't you hear them singing? And as I was running, you know, God said, pay attention to the circumstances. That power of death. I've done their worst, but Christ, their legions are at this pass. Yes. Let shout of holy joy outburst. Hallelujah. Yes. Long story short, I went to school. I wrote the paper in their presence. The reply. All the teacher wrote me, they salute me, they salute me, and I'm an exemplary student. I got a letter from New York, from 19 Gay Society, that I'm a member and I'm qualified to practice in the art and science of nursing. I haven't even done my state board exam. Well, don't, don't tell me prayer doesn't work. That's why I encourage us to pray. Amen. Instead of talking and fighting all this nonsense, go on your knee. I, I, I got that certificate. I got, I remember my first job interview. You know, you want to carry all your accolades. Even the CEO and he said, how did you get this kind? I said, I got it all the way from New York. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord is good. Yeah, the yeah. Lord is good. Yeah, Whatever yeah. yoke, it will be broken. Yeah, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The letter A there is anointing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day 
that his body shall be taken away. What is anointing? It's the supernatural power of God, power of the Holy Spirit in a believer's life. In a person's life, when the power of God, the anointing of God, where there is power of God, demons, darkness Amen. cannot stand. Amen. No yoke can stand. Amen. 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 When there is power of God, you're running to this preacher. They're using you for money. You're running to that prophet. You're running to that whoever they are, and they're deceiving you. You know why we are too lazy to pray? You know why we are too lazy to read the word of God? Yeah. We want somebody. You know the problem. I wanted to bring that illustration. This is the problem. Let me show you. I'll show you. You know, we, we have two things. We have seed here, and but we want God. And God said you need to drop this, but we don't want to drop this, and so we drop God, and our sin continue. Mm -hmm. Our your continue with us. Come unto me. We must do away with sin. We must do away with ungodly lifestyle. We cannot be like the Joneses. We cannot be like them. Other can I may I cannot. Hallelujah. And the Lord, anointing of God will break every. I don't care what that you. They say hey, it's a curse. It's a generation. The Bible says Christ Amen. has redeemed us Amen. from the curse Amen. of the Lord. For curse is everyone that sang upon the tree. He yeah. was cursed for your sake. He was cursed for my sake. I am free. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anointing is for the people. Anointing will set us free. When the Holy Spirit is nudging you. When God is speaking to you. You know, I research on the uh, yoke of your neck. You know, when they yoke the animal, they put the yoke on their neck. Mm -hmm. If their neck grow fat, the yoke won't be able to fit. Mm -hmm. So when we have Holy Ghost in us, hallelujah, mm -hmm. demons cannot fit, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satanic affliction, affliction, yokes, oppression cannot fit us no more, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Because the power of God has filled us up, amen. amen? amen. That's why the Bible says when you become a Christian, you don't just empty your heart. You mm. it. Otherwise, if the devil come back and see nothing, you're not reading Bible, you're not praying, it comes with seven more wicked spirits. Yeah. And your latter end is worse Amen. than the beginning. Amen. 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 Amen? But when you fill yourself with the power of Holy Ghost, enemy cannot come. How on earth will they come? You're so afraid, you're so afraid this, afraid of that. Let's trust in the Lord. Amen. It is the anointing that breaks the yoke. Let's read more Bible. In the book of First Chronicle, chapter 16 from verse 21. He allowed no one to oppress them. God will not allow enemy to oppress you. He allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, touch not my anointed one, and do my prophet no harm. Hallelujah. The Bible says, who shall harm you if you be follower of that which is good? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The letter T, because of our time, let me just keep running. The le letter T there is truth. Amen? Mm -hmm. Remember we read the Bible say in the book of John that we read, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. That's when they were arguing with him. Mm -hmm. We know the truth. I remember before I became a Christian, my friend Fatima, she was a Muslim. She, was, she became a Christian and she go to their uh, services and I follow her. I was religious. I was born in church. Don't get me wrong. So, but then they, they will say, brother, sister. I remember when their little brother was preaching. It's like, I feel like my friend had told the brother about my lifestyle. Why is he talking about me? You know, I didn't know that nobody had told him, but mm -hmm. the truth was pinching, uh, was pinching my heart. He said, you shall know the truth yeah. and the truth. But when we don't want to... Uh, for, uh, I said the truth. We want to run away from the truth. Don't run away the truth. The truth is for your goodness. It's for your protection. It will set you free from Amen. that yoke. It will Amen. set you free from that addiction. It will set you free from that alcohol. It will set you free from that uh, sexual perversion. It will set you free from, from all kinds of evil. Hallelujah. The truth. But you shall know the truth. And the truth will set us free. Amen. The book of James that we read in our Sunday school, James chapter 1 from verse 25. The Bible says, but to so look at into the perfect law of liberty 
and continue therein. You know, you don't just hear the word and forget. You continue in the word. The Bible says, either continue therein. You are not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. This man shall be blessed. Curse is removed. Mm -hmm. When you obey and continue in the word of God, curse is removed. Mm -hmm. It's blessing that is left. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 119 verse 45. Psalm 119 verse 45. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precept. Amen. I will walk, you will walk, because you love the word of God, you love the truth. The Bible says you will walk at liberty. You will walk in freedom. You will not walk in bondage. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. In conclusion, hallelujah, Galatians chapter 4, we're reading from verse uh, 31. No, chapter 4, verse 31 and 5, 1. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bond woman, but of the free. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. I want to read it in the message translation. Christ has set us free to live a free life. So take your stand. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your what? Your, your stand. Never again let anyone put a harness of slavery on you. Never. Amen. This is the true freedom. Amen. Let's live for freedom. Let's love one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. My brethren, are you free? Mm -hmm. Are you really free? I find this from the Gospel Herod. The true freedom is freedom of love. Mm -hmm. That's the true freedom. Brother, are you really free? Not only as a citizen of America, but of that heavenly country. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Or are you under the dominion of sin? Compel to give way to evil tempers and lust, a servant, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is willing and ready to set you free. Amen. 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 Come unto me, all ye that labor. We're going to pray right now. I want us to stand up and begin to pray. And at home, I want you to stand up. If you are watching us again, I want you to, whatever you need to do, begin to ask the Lord. And before you, this yoke must go. I cannot be yoked. I cannot be in bondage. No. I must serve God. He has come to set the captives free. Amen. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you the glory yes. Yes. for your word. Amen. You have come to set us free. Yes. I pray that every yoke in our life be free. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. I want to call Pastor David to come and pray for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Amen. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for being so loving and so kind and so generous. Thank you for your servant that brought forth your word, Lord, mm -hmm. breaking the yoke of bondage. Mm -hmm. You said, he that the Son has set free is free indeed. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Father, I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice that you would touch their heart, that you would touch their mind, that you would free them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sin will have no dominion over us again. Amen. We have been set free in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, we thank you for your word that went forth. We honor you. We praise you. We give you all the glory, all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.